it's Cache. Welcome to my channel. Now, as you can tell, my hair is looking extremely dry and frizzy. This is a day five wash and go. But that's okay because I'm going to be trying Yara Shahidi hairstyles. Stay tuned to see how they turn out. All right, so the first style I'm going to be doing is this half up, half down, two mini bun style. Now, this is one that I do pretty often, so I didn't have any concern on whether or not I'd be able to recreate it. What I do is I part my hair down the middle and then I section off two smaller sections in the front and put the third section in the back just out of the way. And then after that, I'm going to twist the two smaller sections in the front into buns. Okay, so the next style is a little bit harder. It's this deep side part, finger wave, slick down ponytail thing. It's super cute, but it looks like it's gonna be a challenge. So I'm starting off now by just wetting the front of my hair with my conditioner and water mixture. And then grabbing a liberal amount of gel just to the front section. Because from what I see, the back is pretty voluminous. And then I'm using my hard bristle brush just to get my edges a little bit more smooth. Okay, so the first thing I try to do was to get the finger waves by using my hard bristle brush. As you can see, I'm having an extremely hard time just because this brush is so big. So my waves are entirely too large. And I'm definitely struggling right now. Now eventually I just got fed up and I decided to put everything back into the ponytail first and then try to add the finger waves in after. Okay, so now you can see I am just adding more gel and using this mascara applicator to smooth my hair into the finger waves is certainly not perfect but it is working a lot better than the bristle brush so now i just kept messing with it until i got it to a point where i was satisfied it certainly does not look perfect and i had the most trouble with this style all right, so the next style I'm going to be trying out is this kind of intricate looking mohawk poof ponytail thing. Uh, I'm going to start off by sectioning a piece of hair by the crown of my head and then tying that into a ponytail, making sure I keep the back section out of the way until I'm ready to work with it. Next thing I'm doing is taking a piece of hair from that ponytail to tie around the hair tie just so it's not visible. At first I tried to make the little poof at the front by twisting the hair. That didn't work out so I just pushed it forward and then secured it using some bobby pins. Just touching up the poof until I'm satisfied with the shape.
you guys can see me taking out the back section, spraying it, and adding a little bit of gel so that I can slick it back into a low ponytail. So next I'm getting to work making the second poof in the style. I'm using the tail end from the first poof that I made and then securing it using bobby pins right by the ponytail. For the last two poofs, all I'm doing is adding a smaller hair tie just to the middle of the ponytail for two sections. It's a little hard to explain, but just keep watching. So the final hairstyle that I'm going to be trying out is this really pretty decorative braid. Now I'm going to start off by wetting my hair, just the front of it, and then brushing it into a mid ponytail. Okay, so now I'm just going to split that ponytail into three sections so that I can braid it going all the way down. Now mind you, I am not the best braider and by this point in the video, my hands were cramping. So y'all don't judge. So now I'm going to take this coppery gold elastic thread and I'm going to wrap that all the way down the braid. Mm -hmm. 